That's Which you, is right? true. Yeah, that is me. Hi. Hi. Not a robot. Not a robot. <laughs> I'm not okay. a robot. Okay. It's me. Good okay. Pause. Okay. So Melissa, we got some. We got news here. <laughs> yeah. For one, we got a first hater. That's a good thing. You're so much shorter than me. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Can we stand right. up? We got. We got us a first hater. That's a good <laughs> thing. And my follow up about haters is going to be posted next. But here's Melissa. She's not a robot. Some people say she's a robot. No, nope, uh, I'm not a we robot. We sent out voicemail messages to junk removal companies throughout the country. And our, our first little hater came on and said yeah. that what we're doing is we're taking that information and we're turning around and selling it to uh, to other companies. Other companies. So, so if you pay us our call center fee, we're taking that information and we're giving it to other companies. Right. Which is an it's absolutely how somebody come incorrect. Over that? Yeah, but I mean, Dan, that, why didn't we I, think of that? Never thought of that. Never thought so, of that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, all right. So here's the deal, guys, and it's going to be followed up. Calls recorded, right? Oh yes, <laughs> every single call yeah. that that we take in is absolutely recorded, so you can listen to all the things that myself and my other reps say to your customers. Excellent. Yes. And hey, we got we got more people back here too. You know, there's more. <laughs> We got, we got, we got all, we got people all over here. So hey, listen, guys. Robots. Hey, we got a first hater. That's awesome. I appreciate Woo! that guy. He's giving us a lot of uh, great uh, feedback. You know, great exposure. Melissa. Yes. Let her take your junk removal calls. Jerry Please. Call Center. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? It is a great day today. We finally got us our first little hater. Got us somebody, never used their service before, but just decides they really don't like that character named Lee Gobble. They really don't like Junk Removal Authority. And that's great, because it's always bothered me that we didn't have anybody hate on us. I've always sat there and felt we ain't, you know, we're not well known enough. We're not stating our opinions and our and our and the way we think things should be done clearly enough. We're not taking a stand. Otherwise, somebody is gonna disagree with me. And who the hell is it gonna be? Who's gonna be the first one? And we got a guy. Um, he's posted something on Facebook. Uh, it's on a group that I do not have access to, unfortunately. So I haven't directly heard it, but the nice thing is, is you know you're doing a great job when you get a hater, and then you get people that rush to defend you. So we've had people rush to defend us. Had it happen about three weeks ago. Had it happen today. Um, and we, uh, I've got people that have sent me, can't, I can't view the video because I don't have permission to view the video. They could record it, I guess, but I told them just, just summer, give me a summary, that's all I need. So, you guys, we've got a list of a couple thousand junk removal companies that are going every, quite a few of you are going to start receiving a voicemail from our call center director, Miss Melissa. Melissa is a wonderful call center rep. She books jobs at about a 76% clip, so about 76% of the calls she gets, she schedules. Uh, all of our customers with our call center love it. We have an awesome call center service. It's one I wished existed years ago. Somebody else had done it, so I didn't have to answer the phone all the time every day no matter what i was doing um because we've got a call center that does that now so we've been able to take that call center for the first time ever been able to offer a junk removal call center to all junk removal companies no matter where you are we can book a job and it's much more cost effective than hiring your own person to answer the phone at least up until a certain volume of jobs and we've also got multiple reps so we rarely ever miss a call um we, uh, we book thousands upon thousands of junk removal jobs. We know the objections, we know how to handle them. So we're trying to build that service up. That's our job, that's our commitment, is to build that service. So we're sending everybody voicemails, and you're probably gonna get one. Um, well, well, this individual has surmised, and we I've never once talked to him, never heard of him until this. Um, what he surmised is, he thinks that we are basically double dipping, that we're actually taking leads and, 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 sell, and, and selling them to other companies as part of the call center. Um, having haters is great. I have to address that though, because, I, because your reputation is extremely important. And we go out, we try and do the, the right thing. And we've got companies that absolutely love us. We can't let one guy that's never used us before uh, spread misinformation and, fault, and fake news. So we've, I've got to address it. So um, every single call center customer we have has the option of adding call recording. And I believe every single one of them has taken it. Now you have to research your local state laws and there's a good chance you have to notify the customer. Your state probably requires you to notify the customers that calls are recorded. Uh, some states don't, but there's a good chance th that your state will. 
So they can listen back to every single call we've ever taken. Now, he probably just dug this out of his ass, but the only thing I can think of, if he actually has some sort of proof, and the guy looks like he was a reporter for the New York Daily News, so, you know, they're always trying to dig up shit anyway. Most of it doesn't exist. Um, the uh, What we will do, and I'll give you an example of what just happened uh, recently, is if we book a job for one of our customers, a junk removal job, and let's say somebody calls us up, they have to go same day, or they're out of the service, they're outside of the service area that this particular company goes, we're gonna go ahead and book that job. Then we're gonna call that business owner and say, hey, can you get to this job today? Can you go this far? Do you want this job? And if the answer is no, then we're gonna tell them, okay, we're gonna find somebody to fill that job. We are not charging the person that takes that job. We're giving it to them for free. Now, if it's outside of the service area, there's a good chance we're gonna try and sell them our services. That's our job. We're in business to make money just like you are. So, uh, we're not selling it though, we're giving it away. A recent example of this was one of our customers down in Florida. A lady was in vacation, uh, was from Oklahoma City. She was in Florida vacationing. She posted, or she got on Google and she searched for junk removal, probably in Oklahoma City or whatever. She might just typed in junk removal. She, the ad popped up for the company in Palm Beach. She went on that site, she booked online, never realizing that was a Florida company. She thought it was in Oklahoma City. The online booking comes through. The company down there says, you know, what's this about? We can't go to Oklahoma City. We say, okay, you know, here's what happened. We explained to them what probably happened. And we said, we've got a vendor in OK, OKC, unless you want to drive two and a half days to go do this job, uh, we'll let that vendor know. They say, that'd be perfect, let them know. So we called up our buddy in the, uh, Oklahoma City, great customer of ours and gave him the information. He went off and did the job. This happened, with, we had it happen in New Jersey recently. So that is the only situation I can, I can surmise might have happened. And we had one customer that this was somewhere in the Maryland area, I believe. Um, he became unresponsive to us uh, he wasn't paying his Google bill. He turned off Google ads. He got extremely busy is what happened. He'd only been open a month and a half and we had gotten him so extremely busy he couldn't keep up. So he uh, and he didn't want to hire anybody, didn't want to add new trucks. So he basically turned everything off and it became unresponsive to us. It was the weirdest thing. And we called him up and, and a customer had scheduled and they had to go the same day and we couldn't reach the guy. The guy, we finally got up with him. He said he couldn't do the job. So we, we said, okay, well, we'll find somebody else to do it. We found somebody else to do it. We did not charge him. We gave him the job and said, hey, this is a person that needs needs a job done. If you'll go out and take care of it, um, you know, we, we can't get to it. You know, we being the, that company that we are working with. Well, the guy wound up being able to handle the job or I don't know what, you know, what his plan was, if he was trying to take the job without paying us or what, but he showed up out there and the other company was there. So that was... That, if he spoke to that guy, that could happen. Um, guys, listen. You're not doing. If you don't have haters, if you don't have people that are disagreeing with you and 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 skeptical of you, it oftentimes comes down to jealousy. If you don't have something like that going on, you're not doing your damn job. You got to get out there. You got to get known. I'm happy we finally got us a hater. I want some more. So here's what happens: is this guy's actually doing us a favor because now we got people that have never heard of JRA, which is a damn shame but never heard of JRA, that now they're paying attention. And they're gonna look into JRA, and they're gonna start seeing these testimonial videos we're beginning to post. We're traveling around the country, we're meeting these junk removal companies, we're also meeting with our customers while we're at it, getting testimonial videos, and they're gonna post. And they're gonna be able to make a decision. Do they believe this one lone soul, this one guy never done any business with JRA, hating on us, or are they gonna believe all these other guys that are absolutely killing it, that are posting great testimonials? Our goal is so far beyond, it's so large, I'm not gonna fuck around with $20 leads. Your reputation's too valuable, guys. Always remember, your reputation is more valuable than the amount of money you're gonna scam somebody out of. Unless you're gonna scam them out of, scam them out of like hundreds of millions, which I'm not sophisticated enough to figure out how to do that. So uh, I'm damn sure not gonna scam somebody for $20 because I'm not going after $20, I'm going after 20 million or 200 million or, or 20 billion. You know what I mean? Uh, junk removals were, is just the start for us. By the end of next year, we want every junk removal company in existence to know who the hell JRA is, who Junk Removal Authority is, who the Lee Godbolt is. I don't really care. I want 
as many people as possible to love us because they've used us and we've done great work for them. We've given them great information. I want the smallest amount of people to be indifferent about us because if they're indifferent, we're not doing our job making our points clear enough and hitting that vibe, hitting that right frequency to, you know, really resonate or, or turn somebody off or they're going to hate us. And that's going to be the second group. Hopefully we have more people that love us and hate us. But we're going to have a lot of people that love us. We're going to have a lot of people that hate us. But the damn thing is, is we're going to have everybody that knows us. And that, and we're going to start making some noise. You're going to get voicemail messages from us. You're going to get cold calls from us. You're going to receive stuff in the mail. You're going to get Facebook ads. We're starting to get paid YouTube ads. You've probably seen a little bit of them pop up now. That's everything we're going to do because that's our job. Our goal is to get known. Every junk removal business know who we are. And then from there, we're going to blow out the other service categories throughout the home service industry. We want to do what we've done in junk removal to every single service out there, home service. We want to help business owners become independent, become not be slaves to their business, to make more money and realize a level of freedom they've never accomplished. We're not going to do that if we're not getting known. And while we're getting known, we're going to get hated on and we're going to step on some toes. But I have to defend, I have to let everybody know the situation. Maybe he's referring to, but it's a bunch of bullshit. So nothing hits this guy. As a matter of fact, I, I, I thank you very much. Uh, I can't remember his name. Um, company's name is well, it's up. It's up in New York. Uh, I thank you very much. I appreciate it. You've been a, a big help. We've had a lot of attention from you. Please post some more. Uh, but each post you're gonna make, I'm on. I'm gonna come out and and uh, and and straighten everything out. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Y'all have a wonderful day. If Junk Removal Authority uh, can help you with anything, please give us a call. And uh, don't be indifferent. God, gosh darn it, do not be indifferent. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, if you love some JRA. Give us a thumbs down if you hate me and you hate JRA. Don't just sit there and ignore me, though. Give me something one way or the other. Lee Godbold with the Junk Removal Authority. Appreciate everybody for listening. We'll be back before you know it.